Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics to the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5. Now you all know that I recently had just picked up the Marine Hyaluronics and I also told you guys that I was very curious on this product. I wasn't sure how this would compare to a regular hyaluronic acid. Would it give me more moisture? Is it a different consistency on the skin? And so on. So I did use this product for two weeks and I think that is a good length of time for me to come on here and share it with you and to really give you a good comparison to your traditional hyaluronic acid. And I'm also going to show you what this looks like on the back of the hand compared to the other hyaluronic acid and which one I like better if I do like one better. So before we get started, if you like to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, that way you're never going to miss any of my future videos on skincare and all things beauty, and I upload videos every single week. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so I had the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics ordered before I started the Ordinary Skincare series that I did, the five videos that I just uploaded. And before I started the series, I was always scanning through the Ordinary website, getting familiar with all the products, what they're good for, and the ingredient-wise. So, of course, my eyes got drawn to the Marine Hyaluronics again, which it always has in the past, but I always bypassed it and I never took the plunge to purchase it because I personally love a traditional hyaluronic acid. So, of course, of course, with skinning through the Ordinary website, my eyes came across this again and I thought, I'm just going to purchase this, I want to try it, I want to see what this would be like in comparison to your traditional hyaluronic acid and I just want to get it out of my system. So I had that ordered along with a couple other products which I will be doing a review on very shortly, but this one was the number one that I was just so curious about. So I've been using it now for over two weeks, I have done a test where I use this once a day, every day and I've also done a test where I used it twice a day every day to see if it would make much of a difference in hydration wise and how it would react with other products and so on. The Marine Hyaluronics is quite different compared to the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5 but they still do similar things with hydration and to give your skin the nutrients that it needs. So with the Marine Hyaluronics there is a few things that are different as this is marine life based. There's a few few different ingredients in here that are marine life, which is your algae. So there is Hawaiian red algae that is in this product. There is also micro filtered green blue algae and this supports the health of your skin and it gives you amino acids into your skin. This has a lot of skin friendly marine bacteria, which your traditional hyaluronic acid does not have any of that. So they are quite different in similar ways. I really love the idea of having the algae in here here which is going to give you a lot more skin support which is going to give you more amino acids and it's going to also treat your skin a little bit differently in a better way of hydration than your typical hyaluronic acid. This has a total concentration of active ingredients of 23%. So there is more active ingredients in here with the algae which makes this product different compared to your traditional hyaluronic acid plus B5. So these do both work the exact same with the hyaluronic acid that is going to still attract and hold water in your skin no different than any other type of hyaluronic acid product but this has a lot of marine ingredients in here which is going to give you the amino acids which is going to give you a little bit more hydration this one just has your hyaluronic acid along with your vitamin b5 which is your surface hydrator now the difference between these two and I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand very soon in just a minute but the marine hyaluronics is very 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 lightweight in texture and consistency. As you can see right now, this is very water-based and you need to work really quickly with this product when you're applying it to your skin, which this one is a thicker gel serum. So you would actually use less product with this one because this is thicker and it does spread a lot better on the skin. This one literally absorbs right into your skin as soon as you put the product on your skin. You have to work really, really quickly with this product and that's what I found with this one is that you need to put about six or seven drops to cover your whole face evenly, but as soon as you apply it to your skin, you gotta work quickly. So either you pat it into your skin or just gently massage it into your skin. And then of course, if you wanna put this down your neck, I would do a separate six to seven drops or however many you want and then do your neck separately because you are not gonna be able to cover your face and your neck at the same time with just using 
using six or seven drops, it's not going to happen. This stuff absorbs so quickly. But I do like that. I do like how this absorbs really quickly. I do like how this is lightweight because if you are combining other serums with this and you are applying quite a bit of products on top of this, then it's just an easier formulation to apply. If you're using too many thick serums together and then you're going to go in with a moisturizer and let's say an SPF, sometimes these products can react together because some are just too thick, some are more creamy, and then you can get pilling. So I found with this product, I've never experienced any pilling with any of my products and that goes for my morning products and that goes for my night nighttime products. So I found that this works really well with a lot of my products. This works really well with my sunscreen. This works really good underneath my makeup. This one does too. I never seem to have any issues with this one either, but just know that this is thicker. This is a lot more water-based. This one gives you tacky skin and that does settle down after a couple of minutes once you apply this to your skin. Your skin will be a little bit tacky and sticky. I personally don't mind that because I do like how all of my other products stick on top of my skin a lot better by having this product laid down first. But if you do like more of a lightweight consistency and you don't like that tackiness, then I would definitely pick up the Marine Hyaluronics for that purpose. But they are gonna do very similar things, but this one just has a little bit more ingredient-wise in here for amino acids and whatnot. So I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. The first one that I'm applying here is the Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5. You can still see it is a nice serum still. It's not too thick, but it's also not too watery either. And then of course, when I applied the Marine Hyaluronic on here you can definitely see that it's a lightweight consistency it's a lot thinner and it just runs down my hand like water but when you rub these into your skin they really do feel amazing on the skin whether you go with the marine hyaluronics or the other one they both feel great on the skin so the way to use these is that you always want to make sure that you apply your hyaluronic acid after you have toned your skin because this is going to penetrate to the deeper layers of your skin as this is a humectant. Then you're going to want to seal that hydration with a moisturizer and with other serums on top. So make sure that you do apply this first. When it comes to the morning, I always like to apply one of these first, then my vitamin C serum, and then if I want to apply another serum on top, I will do that. Then my moisturizer and then my SPF and then at night time again after I have toned my skin I will put one or the other on and then follow the rest of my products on afterwards. So when it comes to a hyaluronic acid or the marine hyaluronics this does not have any conflicts with any other type of products. So this does go with everything that you want to apply to your skin. You can apply this one or this one with a glycolic acid. You can apply it with a salicylic acid. You can even apply this before a retinol or a retinol a product I do that quite a bit and I never see a reaction I never see any pilling and they actually pair very nicely together so when it comes to any type of hyaluronic acid product as well as the marine hyaluronics there is no conflicts with any other products you can mix this with anything that you like so the final verdict I absolutely love the marine hyaluronics I think this is a fabulous product I love this just as much as the hyaluronic acid plus b5 but I really love how this has the added ingredients in here from the marine algae and you also have the amino acids that are naturally in this product as well and I really do think that this gives your skin a little bit more hydration than the hyaluronic acid plus b5 but that's my own personal opinion I think that this is fabulous I think that anybody should be using this one as well as this one or both one or the other however you want to do it I just think that these are both great products I will be repurchasing this one I will be using this now from this day forward and I'm going to switch it up from time to time between these two as I do like to switch up my skincare on a weekly basis and I think it is important to do that from time to time. So definitely pick up one or the other. Marine Hyaluronics is amazing and I don't think that you'll be disappointed other than if you don't like a lightweight consistency then you're not going to like it but other than that it's a fabulous product and there's no scent to these either and I just think that they just do wonders for the skin. So that is everything in today's video and I really hope that you found this video helpful. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them below like you always do and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you haven't seen my Ordinary Skincare series, there's five in total, I will leave those videos below for you and I will also link them up here if you'd like to check those out. So of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.